It was a bravado and brutally frank performance that shocked the nation. But as her controversial Oprah interview was broadcast, the Duchess of Sussex was, it seems, receiving supportive text messages from the editor of British Vogue, Edward Enenfall. I can reveal that the style guru, who accepted an OBE from Princess Anne five years ago, was part of a select group of 15 employees of publisher Cond Nast who watched the bombshell interview air in the US via a live video link at their respective UK homes. They were connected to a TV in the US via Zoom, and I understand that Edward was in constant contact with the Duchess via WhatsApp as he watched the soap opera unfold. A source close to Cond Nast Britain tells me there were around 15 people on the Zoom, all top Cond Nast people. They felt it was important from an editorial perspective that they got together to watch it. Edward Enenfall, Richard Denon, the editor of Tatler, Sarah Harris, Vogue's deputy editor, and Olivia Singer, Vogue's fashion news director, were on the call. In a hilarious twist of makeshift ingenuity that would make Heath Robinson proud, this technical arrangement for the titans of fashion was all arranged via the laptop of a staff member's parents in Florida. My source adds, you'd think it was a very technical setup, but actually it was all organized by the parents of Cond Nast communication director, Emily Halley, who are in their 60s, who simply put their laptop on an ottoman in front of their TV in Florida. It was so cute but very rudimentary. You had the biggest names in Cond Nast dealing with Emily's slightly fumbling parents. Sometimes you could hear them talking or see them popping up on camera by accident. You could hear Emily's mum eating crisps. We were texting her saying, we can hear you. It was very much as you'd expect parents to be, kind of getting it wrong and wobbling the laptop. The source also said that every 40 minutes, the limit for a free Zoom session, the link ran out. We kept having to restart new sessions. It was hilarious, but actually it was quite a serious screening for the editors. Edward was supposedly texting Meghan throughout. In 2019 Meghan edited Edward's diversity issue of Vogue titled Forces of Change, in which she gushed, to Edward, thank you for entrusting me, I am deeply honoured. Edward has previously said Meghan is a brave woman. Most of us get close to pals over a few drinks, but I can reveal that Meghan Markle bonded with one of her best British friends over a shared tendency not to enjoy parties. And Meghan's chum has her own claim to fame. One of the longest, and possibly silliest, names in high society, Tamara Plunkett Ernler Earl Drax. I gather that Meghan and Tamara, wife of Harry's friend Henry, Wago, Warhurst, bonded at the wedding of Harry's Eton pal Charlie Van Straubenzi and Daisy Jenks not long before Megshi. A source tells me, Tamara was not drinking and was chilling outside the marquee, avoiding the crazy scenes inside. Megan has never been the life and soul of parties, often sitting the dancing part out, so she was drawn to Tamara. She is one of the few British female friends of Harry that Meghan warmed to.